Hi guys, Jeannie here. And today is a very sad day. Today we're going to be saying goodbye to the infamous, to the very famous, to the very well loved Johnny's Wall. Um, I've had this wall for many years now. I have added to it as I gone, I've gotten older and you guys have probably seen the evolution of this wall and my room in general. Back in the early days my room was covered in like every single wall was covered in posters. I had posters on every single available bit of like wall space I had even on the ceiling. But um, as I've gotten older and um, I wouldn't say matured but I've definitely love these boys but also I love having a nice clean space in my room I've decided that I need to change it up a little bit um it is very polarizing coming into someone's room and seeing basically a shrine to some beautiful Japanese boys um as much as I love promoting them I thought that it might be cool to switch it up today and show and share my evolution with you guys because it has been part of my channel for a while and it is very infamous and iconic and I oh, it's my pride and joy honestly I've spent so long on this wall I spent all my own money printing these photos so it's gonna be sad to see them go but we'll be reusing them don't worry and they won't go to waste I think it's only fair to send it off in the right way so guys here's the last look at it some of these photos have gotten a bit sun damaged over the years I do still have the old haste jump calendar because I didn't have a wall calendar in the calendar this year so it's up there still I do need to change it to um whatever boy was in December Oh, it's Hikaru's month, sexy boy. So yeah, I've got to um, put that back up there, and I will be keeping that up. But um, all my albums, and of course the new Hazy Jump calendar, looking very cute there, Yabu and Yamada. So yes, goodbye wall. But I'm still going to be using this as a photo wall with some photos of my boys up still. My idea is that I've bought these grates, and I'm going to be putting them up on the wall. And I've got pegs to pick up like little photos, photo cards, photos of my friends, things like that on instead of just this collage wall. But um, sadly the first step is going to be having to take all these down, which is going to take ages. Man, this poster right here is a relic. It's a really old love tune one. Oh, the boys. And then sexy zone. Ta da! It looks so empty, doesn't it? Oh, it looks so sad. What the hell? So, we've got all the pictures down with a few casualties. Sadly, my favorite photo of Yamada got ripped, and the best photo of Haste Jump as a group as well got ripped in half. So, that's a bit sad, but only a few casualties. It was so interesting though, because like, I never seen the back of my posters. Like, like this one of Kawaii has like Fuji at the back and I never knew and this Kiss of My poster here had like a huge photo of Jump and like I never knew so it's weird seeing the other side of the photos um it's kind of gross I took all the blue tag off but you can kind of see the difference in the colour of my wall that's kind of nasty and like some of the posters le left like this weird like sticky residue that I'm not sure why but um yep I've gone ahead and um marked out where I want to put draw, hill, draw holes to put the um, grates so that's what I'll be doing right now um, it looks really empty, it just looks really sad I miss all my posters so these are the screws I'm going to be using here I hope they're long enough for the grates um, and I'm just going to be poking a hole in the wall with this thing here so I can easily drill a hole and put the screws in wonky it's kind of annoying one of these crates here I bought these online right and look at that it's not straight that's gonna piss me off so much but um that's what I look like there I think I'll put a calendar up there maybe and um maybe clean the wall because it's quite dirty but now it's the fun part it's decorating so I've got two like types of pegs I've got these little ones which look like Christmas lights and I also have these little little wooden pegs 
and I've got some photos, some artwork that I bought from artists and stuff, and maybe some more like my photos of my boys I'll stick up there, and um, then there'll be the finished product there. Honestly, like looking at all these posters and stuff, it kind of makes me wish I like bought more idol magazines again because it's so fun going through and finding the cute posters. It was like the best part of the idol magazine. Lately I've been really trying to support like small artists and buying their artwork because I feel bad because before in the past I've bought like artwork off Alex Express and stuff and it's not supporting the artists at all. But um one of my favourite artists is Sad Shrimps on Instagram, Natasha. She is um part of Tokyo Creative Play, but she makes the cutest artworks and like her packaging is always so cute. I've bought a few things from her now and I think I'll stick them up. This is her kind of she sad shrimps artwork it's absolutely gorgeous so that's definitely going up on there and then also some stuff that i bought from her earlier this year earlier last year some of her artworks here are just absolutely gorgeous there's actually postcards but i don't think i'll ever use them as postcards i'm gonna stick them up on the grates and um they are so adorable i love them so i want to stick those up there i also have some pretty cutters from my friends and i've got some pictures of jump of course and some more pretty cutters, some artwork and stuff. And I'm just gonna stick those up there. And I also have some stickers of Junji Ito's work. Um, sadly, it's not going towards them. I bought them off AliExpress, but I'm gonna stick those up there as well because I absolutely love his stuff. So I'm gonna put those up there as well. Anyway, it's much, much later now, as you probably can tell by the lighting. But before sunset, just wanna do a quick outro for this video. I've half filled up these grates. I wanna finish filling them up tonight and hopefully get some finishing shots before I finish um but I hope you guys enjoy this video I know it's a bit weird it's a bit different but um because it's always been like a big part of my like my YouTube channel my personality my um my past I wanted to just film me redoing my room I love watching room makeover videos so I thought I'd just share this one with you guys and if you did like this type of content let me know and I can maybe do more in the future but yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed please leave any suggestions for any other further videos in the comments and I'll hopefully get to them but thank you for watching I'll see you guys next time bye bye